name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to create pleats on a dress in Illustrator. So when you're drawing pleats, one thing to remember is that pleats are folded fabric. So to get that, you're going to want to draw something kind of like that. But you also want to stay more true to the form of the dress. So it's pretty key to make sure that when you're drawing that, if you want, actually, you can go up to your window, or actually your view, and if you go to show grid, it'll open up this little grid and it'll, sh it'll help you uh, identify uh, where certain, where you can draw certain things to make it more symmetrical. So here's one. And the thing about pleats is not all of them are going to look like that. So actually what you can do to make it a little simpler is to just kind of go like that. So now you've got your halfway point and then you can just go ahead and select this whole thing. Go back to your selection tool. I actually used the direct selection tool to do that so I didn't take the whole thing. And then I'm going to go over to my selection tool and then I'm going to hold down um, option and it's going to make a copy. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to transform, reflect, and I'm going to do vertical. Just preview it just to make sure. Say OK. And now I've got my vertical reflection. And then I can just kind of plug it in right there. And then I can just go ahead and erase all the excess um, so that there's no confusion. And this is OK, because then you can go back in and do this. And depending on how specific you want to get with it, or you know, neat slash detailed, um, that's really up to you. Um, but I'd say if you're gonna make if you're gonna make the folds as pleat like as possible, definitely try and do it with sharper angles and have them connect at the very bottom. So that way, as you can see, there's a little white gap right there. You don't really want that. So just make sure they're connected. And, and also, um, sometimes you can change the line weight, but I'm just going to keep it the same. And then if you want to add a little extra detail in the end, you can just go ahead and do that. Actually, in fact, you can even do something like that. But like I said, when drawing, if you're going to draw it from like a forward angle like that, it's best to just do it that way. But if you're doing it from another, a pleat will kind of more or less look like that. And there you have your pleated dress. My name is Alex, and this is how you create pleats on a dress in Illustrator. Thank you.